number two, that fetuses aren't a life. Feti aren't a life. <laughs> this is one thing, and you brought this up. How many times has the left and how they've used pregnant mo mothers as, as, as a trope? It's a trope to, to raise the stakes of a movie. And every time I watch a movie and there's a pregnant mother at the very beginning, I'm like, yeah, he's going to die. I think it, uh, Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Pearl Harbor was one. I can think of a, I can think of a ton of movies yeah. Yeah. that have the same trope that you're like, it's just foreshadowing every single time because the pregnant mother to raise the stakes. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, po it's, even if you look at it in popular culture, you look at uh, Children of Men was one that comes to mind where the, the, the last person, the last person born on earth was, was literally a celebrity. And I know The Handmaid's Tale, is, they try to use it as an example for pro-abortion. Um, but being able, if you think about it, really being able to birth a child is such a valuable commodity any woman who's able, they're basically enslaved. Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. I never saw it. Um, a good example, Terminator 1. Think of that. Save, save the unborn John Connor. A and the left, they can't help celebrating unborn babies in real life. This is why I say it's not just yeah. hypocrisy. It's not just looking at the, at the, con at the scripted content. They, they slip up all the time. And this is where I'm not talking about hypocrisy, where someone says, well, I believe it would be better to give to charity, only I don't because people are selfish. They slip up when you can see what yeah. they actually believe, and they call them babies or people instead of fetuses. All the time. <laughs> the most liked picture, was it an Instagram? Okay. Most liked of 2017, all yeah. of 2017? All time. Yeah. Yep, all time. Uh, Beyonce. Beyonce. What was it? Explain uh, it for the audience. Beyonce, uh, her pregnancy announcement. Giant hit. Most oh, liked Instagram posts, I think, of uh, 2017. There you go. It's a terrible picture. Uh, they reported, by the way, she was pregnant with a baby, not a oh. fetus. Correct, Sven Computer? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, all the tweets, the, the news agencies would say, BB, that it's, no, she has a second baby, her first baby, and they would yeah. never <laughs> call it like, a, she, has, she has a pregnancy or she has a fetus. Leftists love, love to, uh, you know, say it's just, just a fetus, it's just a clump of cells. But yet they mourn miscarriages. I can never understand, I can never understand yeah, how I they put that together. How do you mourn, simultaneously mourn, how do you reconcile that? Yeah. If it's not a, if it's not a life. And it's a feminist, she's a miscarriage. She misses work for six months. Yeah. So, the, by the way, the pro-abortion Clintons, they, they certainly celebrated Chelsea's unborn baby, if you look at it. And here's some of the, again, yeah. it's, it's the slip up. It's not just what they say and how they act, but when you, they don't know the cameras are rolling or when their brain hasn't registered because they hadn't, they're, as a pan pan yet when Hillary Clinton slips up right here and even even refers to the unborn child as a person the unborn uh, person uh, doesn't have constitutional rights. Nope, definitely didn't hear. I was thought I heard no. zygote. No, <laughs> no, it was really close. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> glad she's not president. <laughs> I, I, ha I have a cold. You so laid. Peas right. sound like zygote.